Hello everyone. Welcome to another episode of Deep Dive Knowledge Talk. Hello. I'm excited to discuss your research on graph neural networks. To start off, could you provide an overview of how a scenario can be modeled with a graph and the types of problems that can be solved using this approach? Sure. Imagine a scenario where you have a group of friends and you want to represent who is friends with whom. You can use a graph to model this scenario where each person is a point or node in the graph. And the friendships between them are represented by lines or edges connecting the nodes. This is an example of how a real life scenario can be modeled with a graph. Now, let's talk about the types of problems that can be solved using this approach. And it turns, there are different types of problems that can be solved with graphs, depending on what part of the graph is relevant. For example, we have node level tasks, like identifying characteristics of individual elements in the graph, link level tasks where we focus on the relationships between elements and graph-level tasks, which involve analyzing the entire graph as a whole. For instance, in the context of a molecule, a model can learn to detect the type of bond that should be present between atoms, link-level task. In the case of a social network, we could use the information from the complete graph to distinguish between the profiles of politicians and athletes, graph-level task. This demonstrates how diverse problems can be addressed by leveraging graph structures. That's a fantastic way to illustrate how a scenario can be modeled with a graph. And it really helps to understand the versatility of graph-based problem solving. Moving on. It would be great to delve into the differences between regular neural networks and graph neural networks. Could you elaborate on the distinctions between the two and explain the unique advantages that graph neural networks offer? Regular neural networks are like a team of friends who only communicate with each other. They can only share information and make decisions based on the data they have individually. On the other hand, graph neural networks, GNNs, are like a group of friends in a big network. They can share information not just with their immediate friends, but with friends of friends as well. This helps them make decisions based on the information from the entire network. The unique advantage of graph neural networks is that they can understand and make sense of complex relationships and connections in data, like social networks, molecules, or transportation systems. Regular neural networks struggle to understand these complex relationships because they can only see individual data points, while YNNs can understand the bigger picture by considering the connections between data points. This makes GNNs very powerful for tasks that involve analyzing and learning from interconnected data. Thank you for the clear distinction between regular neural networks and graph neural networks. The analogy you provided really helps in visualizing the difference. Now, let's explore the propagation process in graph neural networks. Could you explain how information is propagated through the network and how it differs from the traditional feed-forward and back-propagation processes in regular neural networks? Sure. In a graph neural network, information is propagated through the network in a way that's similar to how rumors spread in a classroom. In a classroom, when someone starts a rumor, it quickly spreads to all the other students. And then those students pass it on to their neighbors, and so on. This simultaneous spreading of information is similar to how propagation works in a graph neural network. Now, let's talk about how it differs from traditional feedforward and backpropagation processes in regular neural networks. In a traditional neural network, information moves in a linear sequence from one layer to the next, like passing notes in a classroom from the front to the back. However, in a graph neural network, information is not passed in a linear sequence. Instead, it's simultaneously processed by all the nodes in the graph just like how rumors spread to all students in a classroom at the same time. This simultaneous processing allows the graph neural network to consider the connections and relationships between different nodes in the graph, which is important for tasks involving graph data, such as social networks or molecular structures. The analogy of spreading rumors in a classroom effectively illustrates the propagation process in graph neural networks. It's fascinating to see how information is simultaneously processed by all the nodes, unlike the linear sequence in traditional neural networks. Moving forward, let's discuss the general framework of graph neural networks. Could you provide an overview of the key components and how they come together to form a general framework of YANIS? 
The general framework of graph neural networks, GNNS, is like a team of detectives working together to solve a mystery. Each detective represents a node in the graph, and they communicate with each other to gather clues and solve the case. The key components that come together to form the general framework of GNs are 1. Node Restudies Each node, or detective, starts with some initial clues about the case. These initial clues are represented as features of the node. 2. Message Passing Just like detectives sharing clues, nodes in a GN share information with their neighboring nodes. This is called message passing where each node updates its clues based on the clues it receives from its neighbors. 3. Aggregation After receiving clues from neighbors, each node combines and aggregates the received information to form a more complete picture of the case. 4. Update function Using the aggregated information, each node updates its own clues to get a better understanding of the case. 5. Output generation Finally, all the nodes collaborate to generate the final solution to the mystery, taking into account the information they have gathered and updated throughout the process. So, the general framework of ENNs involves nodes, starting with initial clues, passing messages and updating their clues based on the information received from neighbors, aggregating the received information, and finally generating an output based on the collective understanding of the entire graph. It's like a team of detectives working together to crack a case. The analogy of detectives working together to solve a mystery provides a vivid and intuitive understanding of the general framework of graph neural networks. The stepwise explanation really helps in visualizing how the components come together to process and analyze the graph data. Now, let's touch upon the mathematical aspects behind the general framework. Could you provide insights into the mathematical foundations that underpin the general framework of graph neural networks? The mathematical foundations that underpin the general framework of graph neural networks are based on the concept of propagation. In the context of GNNs, propagation refers to the process of updating node restudies by incorporating information from neighboring nodes. The general framework involves a series of mathematical operations that allow nodes to aggregate and update information from their neighbors. This process involves matrix multiplications, nonlinear activation functions, and weight sharing across different nodes in the graph. To put it in simpler terms, imagine a group of friends in a playground. Each friend listens to the others and adjusts their thoughts based on what they hear. Similarly, in a graph neural network, nodes communicate with their neighbors and update their internal restudies based on the information they receive. The mathematical operations in the general framework of ENNs enable nodes to collectively solve tasks by sharing and processing information in a collaborative manner. This collaboration is essential for tasks such as node classification, link prediction, and graph classification. So, in essence, the mathematical foundations of ENNs are centered around the idea of nodes communicating and updating, then updating their information based on the collective input from their neighbors allowing them to collectively solve complex problems within the graph structure. The analogy of friends in a playground effectively simplifies the mathematical operations involved in the general framework of graph neural networks. It's fascinating to see how the mathematical foundations enable nodes to collaborate and collectively solve tasks within the graph structure. Thank you for providing such a comprehensive overview. It's been insightful to delve into the fundamental concepts and workings of graph neural networks. Your explanations have truly made the technical aspects accessible and engaging. Thank you for shedding light on this innovative approach to data analysis and problem solving.